Good morning all. Firstly, welcome from my side to the formal part of the Stretti site visit. Clearly the main purpose of today is a update firstly from Peter on the strategy, just in terms of a recap on what we're focusing on and some of the key components of that. Then a big focus of today is around the opportunity we see in terms of our unique positioning to leverage our portfolio of sustainable packaging. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Czech Republic and welcome to Stete, which is one of our flagship paper mills. Now, if you go back to the years 2007, 2010, you will see that our performance was somewhat below the average of our peers. And then we closed the gap and then we widened the gap. And today we do have industry leading returns. Sustainability has become even more core than it was in the past. Recycling is absolutely positive. It is necessary, we do a lot, but it is not enough. Our answer to that is replace, reduce, recycle. The really important message is that today we will talk about a major future profit and growth driver. Eco Solutions is not a brand, it's not a product, but is our customer-centric approach to support our customers, to help our customers achieve sustainability goals. So it's all about cooperating with customers to find the best sustainable solutions. When you look at consumer flexibles, what is key is the relationship to our customers, especially the big FMCGs, the big retailers. Nobody has the position we have with our product portfolio. Another trend is brand value. What do we mean with brand value? The packaging is not anymore a container of, for goods, but it is the way a producer presents himself to the consumers. Packaging is becoming key element of decision for FMCGs and retailers. If you would go to the shop and want to buy sliced cheese, yeah, this is the conventional packaging solution. It's fully plastic based. This is the performing tray and Mondi is so far the one and only producer in the world who can deliver such a formable paper. And if you compare it to the conventional plastic based uh, packaging, we can reduce the plastic content with up to 80%. We can do the paper production, we can do the film with our film colleagues and we also can do the coating with our extrusion coating competencies. I want to summarize once again what are valid points for all the product examples. They are renewable, they are recyclable and they are sustainable and derived from sustainable fiber sources. The challenge that we're trying to achieve here is to actually close the loop. We're actually looking to take recycled material and put it back into a value-added product. Now, where do we see it for the future? This is only going to grow. We must have collaboration in order to drive this process forward. And we do that through having key initiatives that we partner with. Because that is the only way that will drive some kind of systemic change for us to meet our 2025 goals, our 2030 goals, and more importantly, for our FMCGs to also achieve those goals. And the ability for us to collaborate, even with our competitors, to drive sustainable change. We are integrated pulp and paper producer and we produce our top quality packaging papers at the lowest cost in the market because we implemented really world-class uh, processes and we stay focused on continuous improvements. Uh, simply said, we are people who love breaking records. The way of adapting our current operations using digital tools has really brought us to a next level of performance in operations. We have the products. We are the biggest craft paper producer in the world. We are the biggest bag manufacturer in the world. We are a sizable container board company. It's about technology. We have to develop new products which are just more functional, more consumer friendly, etc., and more renewable. We have the customer relationships. And at the end, it's always about ambition. And believe me, we do have the ambition.